what's up demasking addiction family i am your girl demisha lawless and this is demasking addiction guys i am normally on here scripted i normally have a topic to talk about but today i genuinely just wanted to do a video and show up in my purest form my purest self and um I have been battling with anxiety a bit lately. I know how odd, the counselor battling with anxiety. But um, I wanted to have a candid conversation with you guys and be transparent about my own life and hopefully it be a witness and or enlightenment to you guys and hopefully be able to help you in the best way possible. So within, let's just say the last two weeks, I have been going through a lot of life changes. And honestly, these life changes should be good life changes. I quit one job and started another job, still in the same career field, still in the same type of um, substance abuse setting, if you will, doing the same type of job, just a different company. And my husband and I are in the process of looking for, I guess I'd say, our long-term home. Uh, and I have a job that fits within my motherhood and my wifehood and getting to do what it is that I love. And I also have you guys and you, you know that we're um, a nonprofit. And with that, I felt like with what should be good things going on, my mind was consumed with trying to make sure I hit the mark and be perfect in every single area. Make sure that I show up perfectly as a mom. Make sure that I show up 100% as a wife. Make sure that I show up 100% as a counselor, make sure that I show up 100% as a new business owner, make sure I show up 100% in this new job. I mean, it was just a lot, a lot, a lot. And with all of that, I spiraled. I found myself honestly on the phone with my mom, needing a mini therapy session that we all have to have sometime with our parents or either our loved one or a therapist or whatever it is for you saying for me the question is i don't know why i feel like i have to be so perfect and hit the mark and show up in every single area what is it that i'm trying to prove and with that it created a lot of anxiety for me for those who don't know what anxiety is it's a lot of worry it's a lot of anxious feelings around a situation and so for each and every person that could show up differently you know for me I get easily irritated um, I can get angry very quickly um, I can't quite think straight I can't center my focus on one thing um, I get mind boggled and I can shut down really easily I'll get frustrated um, anxiety can present for many people in different ways. And for me, I was able to finally process with my loving mom that I am dealing with being a perfectionist and I'm trying to be God in my own life. And I had to come to a place where I needed to surrender and say, God, this business, demasking addiction, and the goal and the manifestation for what I want to see outside of my head and have it manifest outside in the real world is going to happen. But Demisha's timeline might be unrealistic. And I feel that if I didn't achieve Demisha's timeline, then I was failing God. I was letting God down which was increasing my worry, which was increasing my anxiety. See, sometimes the devil can play like mind games in your head and make you think, oh, well, you didn't show up this way in your job. That way, now God's going to be upset with you. Or, oh, you didn't close it when you said you were going to close it or you told people you were going to do it 
at this time you didn't hit the mark like you said you were god's not pleased with that oh you told people you're going to do xyz and then you change the mind and you change the shift god's not going to be happy pressure 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 and then I was reminded, not only with my conversation with my with my mom, but also with private time with God, that he sees me and that his grace is sufficient enough and that if he gave it to me, it's going to happen. I was also reminded by my father that my family is my first ministry. And if my family's not good, nothing else will align too. So I got on here because if anybody else is struggling with battling their personal life with their work life, their marriage, with their children, with being parents, whatever the situation is, we all wear multiple hats, right? Whether you're a sister or a brother or whatever your hat is that we wear, I want you to know that God sees you, he's right in the midst of it all, and he's right there with you where you need him to be. I actually wanna read something with you guys, hold on. Psalms 121 says, I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved he who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The, sh the sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. That means that God never sleeps. He never slumbers. There's never a moment in time that God is not with me and that anything I do does not catch God by surprise. I love that it says that the Lord is your shade at your right hand. So even in the times where I'm feeling like I'm in the darkness, God is still my light. And even when I feel like the sun can be smoldering or the trials and the tribulation, he's still there to cover me. He sends exactly what it is that I need. He will not allow my foot to be moved. So with this, be anxious for nothing. And in all things, prayer and supplication and surrender all. I just... I don't know if I rabbit hole or ramble too much, but for me, what's been helping me lately get back on track is one, what helps get help me with my anxiety that I wanna share with you guys is making a to-do list. So one, if you're mind boggled the way I get mind boggled, write things down, whether that be a planner, whether you put things on sticky notes around your home, on your keyboard, I mean, on your desk, computer top, in your phone, whatever it is. I truly encourage you to kind of old school write it um, and sometimes see it because the Bible also says make a vision and make it plain um, and it really can help. But get it out of your head. Some people draw, some people paint, some people do poetry. Um, somehow, some way, get it out of your head. Another way you can get it out of your head is work out. That's why I'm in my workout clothes still. I run and I do Zumba. If you work out, you actually reduce, this, or sorry, not reduce, but you actually release the same endorphins and dopamine and short neurotransmitters that you release when you're getting high. And so you kind of get that same effect, not at the same rate, but not at the same speed, but that feeling that the body gets, that rush that you're looking for, that thrill on a lower level, but nonetheless, you get it. You're able to release it and get it out. And it's a way that you can express love back into yourself. We need to be able to express those things, get those things out, prioritize some self-care. So in some way, shape, or form throughout your day, find a spot to fit just you, yourself, and you into it, whether that's a bubble bath, 
whether that's devotion, watching a TV show, a movie that you love, I don't know, but whatever that is for you, working out, getting it out of your head, writing, painting, drawing, exercising, and praying, and all things prayer, supplication, and fasting, and make your cares known to God. And some meditation exercises. Breathe, stretch, shake, let it out. <laughs> You've got this. You're more than a conqueror. Don't let the devil take you away from where you should be going. And God sees you. My devotion this morning also reminded me that if it matters to me, it matters to God. I love you, Demasking Addiction. I hope that helps you just as much as it helped me. And don't let your anxiety spin you, inspire you all the ways that it can. I love you. Until next time. Bye.